Hello Johnny, it's the 19th of March and that means it is Super Saturday Vlogs Week 92. So, of course, the first talking point of today is the Reading game. Um, caveat is, Johnny, if you don't want to know, or anyone if you don't want to know, but um, it ended up being a one-all draw. Um, and it, we were awful. I have to say, anyone, who, anyone who's got any comments about this, any of our subscribers, or anyone who's seen this video for the first time, um, comment below with your thoughts on Reading's performance and the game in general because I thought we were awful. Um, my brother and I were there for 87, well, about 88 minutes actually because we were like, this game's boring, you know, it's been so boring, the fans were quiet. Usually we're going, Blue Army! Blue Army! Everyone was just going, you know, they, no, it was so quiet. There were, like, 16,000 fans, I think, which is very poor, you know, that's poor. So the fans, you know, were not great, you know, it was quite a, you know, it was a boring atmosphere. The game wasn't enjoyable, you know, even the burger was off. And if the burger was off, that means that things were just not right. Um, here are the highlights from the game. I didn't really film as much as I usually do, didn't get any of the goals, although Gareth McCleary's goal chested it down inside the box, volley, you know, we were so poor, and then all of a sudden we get a goal, and the fans were still quiet, the Cardiff fans were singing, were going, is this a library, is this a library, you know, and after we, after we scored, um, our fans, like, say Tom and I were sat here, like here, over to our left hand side, like way over the end, to the end of the stand, probably like Y26 or something, we were like Y21, like way over to our left, the Reading fans, some of our fans were singing, um, why don't you go home, why don't you go home, sheep shagging, you know, <laughs> why don't you go home, now, I was not expecting us to just completely mug them off after the goal. I mean, they were being quite cocky, to be fair. The Cardiff fans were being quite cocky. They were saying, Red in the... Mm -hmm, I want to go home, you know, and it's like, well, why don't you go home then? You know, but, I mean, it was offensive, but it was... They, the Cardiff fans deserved it because they were being so cocky. It's like, you what, mate? Actually, the T-shirt says it all. Okay, hold on. Like, right, I've had enough. Bit of flab there. You, you know. There we go. <laughs> I should have just stood up and just gone. That was the most entertaining bit of the whole game, you know. Some people probably quite found it quite offensive, but I think the Cardiff fans deserved it. And another talking point was the rugby game. Uh, England had to win this game against France to get the Grand Slam. I was really hoping we were going to do it. And in the end, we won. And here's uh, highlights of our first try and then another clip showing us lifting the trophy. Oh, so what that's poor defending, isn't it? Guards not getting in position at all. He's off. Okay, seeing it. 
what, what, feeling it. How, they, uh, how both teams seem to defend, they're, they're not really setting, as you would say, a guard. They seem to be more of a, a, a sliding. The Grand Slam winning England rugby team. Uh, now for the final part of the vlog. I know it's another short vlog, but there's nothing I can really do to fill it in apart from maybe a bit of FIFA gameplay with a bit of commentary. But first, let me run you through this new gate at High Down. Basically, if, if you want to go out just after Tutor, outside of school just after Tutor that is, um, uh, then you can just have to press the green button and the, the gate opens automatically for you. On your, If you're returning before lunch, or even during or after lunch, uh, then all you got to do is press something on this intercom, and you just have to say your name and stuff, or show your ID badge, and the gate will open because there's a person there standing, you know, doing a good job of keeping an eye out for things, not just standing there looking at the sky. And uh, there's also a gate specifically for cars, so as soon as it has sensors on it or something, so if a car comes by, then it opens. So if you can't be asked to use the intercom, just wait for a car to come by. The gate for the car will, cars will open, and you can run through. Or just casually walk through and hope. No one says anything. But then again, if they do say anything, what are they going to do? Excuse me, can you um go through the other gate? But then it'd be too late, because you'll already be back in school. So I might, I might have exaggerated in, in saying the gate was rubbish, blah 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 blah. I mean, it's unnecessary because the old gate was perfectly fine. So, that's all there is, really. So, all it is, you just got to press a button or wait for a car to come by or press something on the intercom and, or show your ID badge. So, sounds pretty simple, but, you know, the old gate was fine. Uh, one more thing before I sign off. I accept my punishment, which, in case any of you don't know, in case you haven't watched any of Johnny's uh, latest uh, recent vlogs, uh, it's basically if you haven't seen my 10 subscriber special on my Matt Brown 98 channel, which of course is my main channel, then basically all I have to do is get Doritos, put loads of hot sauce or chili sauce, basically hot sauce, on it and eat them. Quite a lot of them it was. And then straight after that, with my mouth burning and getting milk and everything and in the panic, I've then got to do the cinnamon challenge. So I'll probably do the hot one first, get it out of the way, then do the cinnamon challenge. And hopefully that will be coming out um, next week. So yeah, I accept my punishment. And now it's time for me to sign off. So thanks for watching Super Saturday Vlogs Week 92. And I will see you next week.